Welcome to Eucanic. Today here on Eucanic we have a 2017 Jaguar XE. This has the 3.0 liter V6 motor with the supercharger. On this we have a check engine light on and so we're going to read the code and then we are going to discuss how you would replace the code on this vehicle. So we have an OBD2 scanner hooked up. This is the Eucan uh, Eucanic scanner, Eucan 2. And then we're going to go into diagnostic. We're going to go into the European screen, pick the Jaguar. And from that screen, we're going to go through the smart VIN. And then we're going to hit yes because it communicated and told us we do have the 2017 Jaguar. Then diagnosis. And we're going to do control module because we don't need to scan the whole system. And we're going to do the powertrain and then we're going to read the code that's in the powertrain. This is P0343 is the camshaft position sensor for intake on on the the bank one of this engine. So we'll go over that and how you would replace it and whatnot. So to start with to replace it you're going to need to be able to you'll want to pop this cover off and this is just held on by some rubber grommets and so you, you pop it and then set that aside. Then you'll need to loosen three bolts, um, which are these, one here, one on the uh, far other side that goes to the air box on the um, other side, and then there is one right down in here behind this black um, pipe here, and that is another size seven. You loosen all those, undo a number 10 millimeter bolt that holds this bracket here, and also squeeze this vacuum hose clamp together and then you'll be able to pull this off. And then we just work our way and pull that off and we can set that aside. And then we're looking for the cam position sensor that is located down here. And so we're just going to move this water line a little bit out of the way. And then we gain access to that cam position sensor right here at a T30 to undo it. This is your cam position actuator on the intake, and then right below it is your cam position um, on the intake sensor. So you undo the electric clamp, press it down, and then we have a T30 right here to loosen up and to remove. And then you'll be able to spin this a teeny bit and be able to pull that sensor out and be able to replace it. All the sensors for the cam position sensors are the same so if you wanted to really rule out one is bad or not you could take this one and put it in this slot and move this one to this slot and then you could test it and make sure that it is ensure uh, you can ensure that it is the sensor or you replace the sensor because the sensors are generally fairly cheap compared to a whole engine work replace the sensor and be able to put everything back where it was, put the other components back on, and then go ahead and clear out the engine code, and then start the vehicle, make sure it doesn't come on immediately, run your vehicle for a week or so, and just drive it normally, and if nothing comes back on, well then that might have been the complete problem. Now if it does come back on, you're going to need to be looking into some other deeper components that can be causing issues with your wire cam sensor would come on which would be a lot of times it'll be more something internal via the timing chain is stretching and you would need to do a timing chain redone. So the sensor, you replace that sensor and when you're done replacing the sensor then you can come back to your, your scanner and be able to clear the code slash erase the code and then we just hit yes and the codes are cleared and we can also double check and it's saying that everything is good. And so that's uh, the replacement there. Put all your other components back on the vehicle and drive it normally. Thanks for watching Mechanic, where you can be the mechanic.